Hello, welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see volumetric analysis, a simple problem which is taken from IIT JE Advanced 2020 question paper. Let us see the question. The question says 5 ml of 0 0.10 molar oxalic acid solution taken in a conical flask is titrated against sodium hydroxide from a burette using phenoxylin indicator. The volume of sodium hydroxide required for the appearance of permanent paint pink color is tabulated below for five experiments. What is the concentration in molarity of sodium hydroxide solution? Here there are five experiments that are given and the volume of sodium hydroxide obtained for these five experiments are given here. So, when we look at this particular question, this question is a simple volumetric analysis wherein an acid is titrated against a base and then we see the end point of the titration is based on the change in color by the indicator phenoxylin and we all know phenoxylin will be colorless in acid medium and will have a pink color in a basic medium and then in this particular titration five trials are done and in the five trials we see trial number one and two are different volumes whereas trials number three to five are same volumes. So, we know whenever we are doing volumetric analysis we must take concordant value that is at least two consecutive values must be the same. So, here three consecutive values are given in the sense 9 is the concordant value or the volume of sodium hydroxide that we must use for this particular problem. So, now let us see some basic information about molarity and how we have to use uh, these terms in volumetric analysis. So, first let us see this law of chemical equivalence. We are all familiar with this particular relationship V1 M1 is equal to V2 M2. If it is normality, we will say V1 N1 is equal to V2 N2. So, these are um, called as law of chemical equivalence, which is nothing but number of moles of A, which is equal to the number of moles of B. So, we are trying to equate the number of moles of one compound with the number of moles of another compound. So, using this particular relationship, if we know three values, we can find the fourth value. So, now in this particular problem, uh, volume of uh, oxalic acid was given, molarity of oxalic acid was given and then volume of sodium hydroxide also is given. So, we can, we will think straight away, we can calculate the molarity of sodium hydroxide. But before that, there are certain things to remember. First and foremost, some definitions, I suppose most of us will know all these definitions. Molarity is nothing but number of moles in 1 liter or it can al also be called as the given weight in 1 liter by molecular weight. So, these are all uh, different ways of expressing molarity. If uh, yeah, we are using volumes in ml, then we will call it as number of millimoles and we will express the volume and molarity in ml. So, this is how we use the relationship molarity. But now we would want to know, can we just directly use this relationship to find the molarity of sodium hydroxide. So, now for that we must see what is the stoichiometric mole ratio. So, whenever we are uh, applying the law of chemical equivalence, we must remember that uh, finding the stoichiometric mole ratio is very, very important. Say for example, in this particular uh, reaction of sulfuric acid with sodium hydroxide, when we balance the equation, we see for 1 mole of sulfuric acid, we need 2 moles of sodium hydroxide for neutralization. So, this is an acid based titration. So, the, this is a neutralization reaction and so we know that this titration results in um, the products and the products must be balanced. If in case we have used HCl, then N1 and N2 would have been 1. So, the stoichiometric ratio in this particular equation is 1 and 2 that is for sulfuric acid it is 1 and for sodium hydroxide it is 2. So, whenever we are doing a calculation of molarity, 
what we must remember is that we must make use of this particular relationship that is we must divide the v1 m1 formula by the number of or the stoichiometric ratio um, so that we can avoid the mistakes where, where students think that molarity and normality are same equivalence is different from molarity normality and molarity are different so there is another thing which we can remember is in case uh, if you want to bring about a relationship between normality and molarity always remember n by m is equal to n factor where n is the uh, you know uh, uh, the uh, factor which is needed uh, for us to say how many um, you know replaceable hydrogens are there in case of uh, acids or re how many replaceable hydroxyl groups are there in case of bases so in this particular case you know pretty well um, when we are talking about molarity of uh, oxalic acid uh, we know that there are two replaceable uh, you know hydrogen atoms so accordingly the n factor will be different so instead of using this relationship we can directly use this relationship uh, wherein you just calculate the stoichiometric ratio and then divide the divide it in the relation law of chemical equivalence so what would happen in this particular case is uh, in case of sulfuric acid uh, it would have been v1 m1 divided by 1 and in case of sodium hydroxide v2 m2 divided by 2 so this particular relationship is something we must remember when we are talking about um, you know volumetric analysis and if the two reacting substances are not having the same stoichiometric ratio so now let's see the question so in this question as i told you all these things are given and we are asked to find the molarity of sodium hydroxide so how as i told you we cannot directly calculate the molarity of sodium hydroxide because oxalic acid has two replaceable hydrogen atoms so we know that n1 of oxalic acid is one in the sense one mole of oxalic acid requires two moles of sodium hydroxide to react so when we substitute these terms in this particular relationship we will get 5 into 0.15 is the volume of oxalic acid 0.1 is the molarity of oxalic acid n1 is the number of moles of oxalic acid which is equal to the volume of sodium hydroxide which is the concordant value we are asked to find the molarity of sodium hydroxide and then we know the number of moles of sodium hydroxide needed in this particular equation balanced equation is 2 so substituting the values we will get m2 is equal to 0.11 so this is the answer so simple fact to remember is we must use this particular relationship to avoid confusions of stoichiometric ratio thank you like and subscribe Thank you.